All right, this is a Takagi water heater, tankless, obviously. Um, so there is no video on this. Um, if you're getting a code 111, the first thing I did was the igniter and the flame sensor, which everybody, there's a million videos on that. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, put everything back together, and I was still getting a 111. Uh, I was getting intermittent no hot water, and then finally it just went no hot water. So I had to go deeper, and I watched a video on how to disassemble this thing. I think it's called Teardown, Takagi, uh, I don't know, tankless hot water heater teardown. And it tells you how to get it to this point. Uh, what you have to do is take out the burner assembly, um, and this thing does not want to come out. It's, um, hang on. It's this thing over here. So... This guy does not want to come out. It's like tough, but you got to like do what the guy says in the, uh, in the video on teardown. Uh, but this thing was pretty dirty. It still is pretty dirty. I have not yet cleaned it. Um, got to get some shop air on it. Uh, and I couldn't do that at like midnight last night. Um, so that's, what's going to happen this morning. And we're going to put it back in. Um, what else? The uh, This guy right here, which is the, I don't know, plenum or something like that. It's, you know, all the gas jets. These were also dirty. dirty. I had a gas jet cleaner. I actually had one handy, uh, which is a little set of tools. Um, I'll show you what those look like in a second. But um, this thing, I cleaned all those little holes. Uh, the little teeny ones up there were the ones that were really bad. The, the uh, larger ones were not as bad. Uh, but they were all, you know, kind of dirty. I also took this off. You have to kind of, there's three screws that hold on this um, valve assembly. And so you take those three screws out and this comes off and then you can blow air through this thing. Um, it doesn't blow real well because those, you know, jets are pretty small, but um, you kind of have to do that. I have not yet taken off this last, uh, this last actuator. Um, I think I might want to, um, because I, there's a section that I haven't been able to get to. Um, and FYI, you can probably also take this whole thing apart. There's 20 screws, um, these 20 all the way around all this stuff. Um, I believe they do come out. Well, they come out, but I think this will come apart. I did that and I couldn't easily get it separated. So I didn't separate it. I figured I probably don't need to get in there. Um, but, um, you could probably do that also. I don't know if they put a sealer on this cork gasket. Uh, if they do, then that might be a mess. Um, you know, taking it apart and trying to get it back together again without any leaks and it's gas. So you probably don't want leaks. Anyway, um, that's my story on this. <laughs> I may want to replace this thing at some point, but let's blow some air through there and maybe, you know, soft bristle brush it and see what it comes out like and we'll make a decision about it. But anyway, um, that's what you have to do to get rid of the 111. At least I think. Uh, I'm not all the way through it yet, but I'll post this if this works.